What's going on there folks? Earthmaster checking in. It is August 14th, 2018, 7.47 p.m. here on the West Coast. And I'm going to start this video right off the bat with an earthquake uh, hitting in Southern California. Nothing big, although uh, I'm sure quite a few folks down there definitely felt it. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here on this map from the Caltech.education website. Um, and then I'll show you exactly which fault lines these are close to or in between here and um, you can see the uh, blue square now being over the last hour or so when that 4.4 earthquake struck here uh, near this little town here I don't know how big it is down there but 4.4 uh, on the uh, scale at a depth of 1.2 miles so fairly shallow activity going on down there and um, I'm sure folks definitely reported feeling this. I'm going to check this here real quick and see uh, what type of responses we got from people. Um, of course, yeah, quite a bit of people feeling this all over um, many different locations down there. As uh, as this 4.4 earthquake struck. Now, let's go back over here real quick. And there's definitely been a lot of activity uh, following this 4.4 and a little bit prior to that as well um, definitely some increase in pressure going on down there so to speak uh, you can see let's see we had a little bit of activity yesterday some kind of micro earthquakes and I'm going off this location right here uh, near this town here uh, uh, Guanga I don't think I pronounced that right if I did uh, yay if I didn't I apologize but even though uh, the past couple days here, you can see even on the 12th, we had a little bit of activity, some micro uh, earthquakes occurring right there, all underneath 2.0. Uh, but nonetheless, definitely some earthquake activity leading up to this uh, larger earthquake today, the 4.4. Um, far as activity afterwards goes, we started to see some twos. There was a three right there as well. Um, today and then uh, you know we're just getting kind of like a swarm of activity uh, within this region right here taking a look at the Southern California map from the usgs.gov website you can see the uh, all too famous San Andreas fault system in the dark red right here this is the area that uh, you know scientists say they're gonna see a big one I mean they've been saying that since I was a kid Remember, oh, Southern California is going to see a big one. You know, it, it's going to happen. Eventually, it's going to happen. It's going to be upper seven, lower eight uh, is what these uh, scientists are saying along the southern section of the San Andreas Fault System. But this activity that we're seeing today is well off of there by quite a bit of miles. Uh, looking at the scale here of a 30-mile scale. We're looking uh, definitely a little bit over 30 miles from the San Andreas fault system right here. Uh, the other fault system is still a ways away. This here is the 10 mile scale. It's roughly within about 10 miles of the San, uh, San uh, what is that? Jacinto? San Jacinto? Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, this section down here is still about 10 miles from there and also there's another fault system right over here just a smaller one um, the Ellis Noor fault system just a complex of spider web type not spider webs but sp yeah like spider web type faults down here I mean it's very complex and just a crumbling piece of land um, so to speak in my words uh, not very populated out here in this region uh, kind of looks like it took place out here around it. We can zoom in a little bit here. What's that Beauty Mountain down here? This area to the south of there. And let's see here. Zoom in just a little bit further. Little communities out there. Uh, nothing big. Kind of looks like it may be around some foothills and whatnot. But no doubt these folks up here definitely felt it. There's the 4.4 uh, kind of off here down to the south of the region just by a little bit and then uh, the rest of the activity kind of to the north and northeast here. Uh, 
Uh, not for sure exactly if there's any fault systems at all out there um, in this specific region. Now, like I said, within about 10 miles there is uh, over here to the east and also over here to the west with these smaller fault systems. Uh, but either way, definitely something to watch here is uh, uh, any kind of activity, you know, down there along these uh, sensitive fault zones are uh, uh, concerned quite a bit, especially when you get around the uh, San Andreas fault system right over here. Biggest locations, towns, far as uh, location goes, it looks like Hammett up here. Um, got Palm Desert, Cathedral City, Palm Springs, all up here in this region. Uh, of course, being up above the uh, the mountain range down here. Marietta over here to the north and west. Some more smaller earthquakes occurring here uh, throughout the Southern California region. I do have a live seismograph station right here that I'm going to pull up. Uh, probably going to get rid of this one here because it doesn't look like it's working all that properly. kind of looks a little uh, different. Different, uh, odd. Not like it usually is. Uh, but Alaska still having their earthquake activity as well. Um, but for now, head back over here to the uh, Southern California activity these two little ones going on down here not you know nothing big the smaller ones but nonetheless some activity being uh, moved around and pressure being applied down here some plates moving uh, and maybe possibly a couple plates being squeezed or uh, sections I should say little sections of uh, of land in between faults here uh, other than that San Andreas is San Andreas Fault Zone itself is pretty quiet. We did have one right along the uh, park field section here. Uh, 3.5, that occurring a little bit earlier today. That's still somewhat of a uh, interesting earthquake there when we see a 3.5. Anything above 3.0 and I start opening my eyes a little bit, uh, paying some attention to this, uh, to this uh, beautiful fault system here. It runs all the way up through San Francisco and uh, up into Northern California, and then you start uh, start messing with with the uh, the Cascadia subduction zone and all that stuff up there. So We've got Ridgecrest up here, but anyway, um, I will keep an eye on this region. Like I say, it's kind of kind of out there in the middle of nowhere, in between two separate fault systems but uh, you know everyone knows California Southern California uh, specifically is a complex spider web of faults out there I mean it's very brittle ground on a uh, regional scale and uh, highly populated in certain areas out there I did uh, want to pull up some information on the Alaska earthquake activity up there which uh, you know, it's still going. I haven't really checked the uh, the uh, amount of earthquakes today, but looking at the live seismograph there, I can see that activity continues. Uh, and looking at this map here, obviously, uh, it's continuing, no doubt. Uh, 137 earthquakes today alone. This is all magnitudes uh, within this region here of northern Alaska. Uh, up here, you got the Prudhoe Bay region. A little bit off here to the uh, well north northwest area, I guess. I did pull that up. There is some interesting activity uh, or some geographical uh, standouts here that kind of uh, was pointed out to me. There, if you guys know anything about uh, earthquake activity? It sometimes is sometimes is associated with. Uh, people messing with uh, natural gas and uh, fracking and uh, that's what we have up here just to the north and west of all that earthquake activity uh, you can see these little identical type pumping operations with little roads leading to them not a multitude not a mass multitude of them but 
Uh, nonetheless, there's definitely some activity going on up there uh, in the fracking business. Uh, the earthquake activity itself taking place a little bit further uh, to the east and south of this region here, kind of close to these mountain ranges up around the uh, Arct Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. That would have been cool to check out while I was up there. I did check out the, uh, the uh, wildlife refuge there just north of Anchorage, which was uh, pretty cool, pretty awesome to see, uh, see all the animals out there. But um, yeah, so anyway, back to the earthquake activity. This earthquake activity occurring within this range up here. Uh, not a whole lot to point out. I did not see any fracking operations earlier when I was checking this thing out. Just some mountain ranges, some valleys, and uh, some roads going off to, uh, well, who knows where. Uh, but definitely activity continuing as it's being reported here from the USGS. Also um, on the... Uh, Webby quarters right here. This here is an earthquake coming in. Not for sure what size. Uh, I guess it'd be the last earthquake right here, which is a 3.8. Um, being reported by the USGS on 0247 UTC time. Uh, I can check the time on this real quick. 0247, 0246, 47 be right about here where the uh, hand is. You head down here, and that's where we see that 3.8 earthquake striking on the. Uh, the seismograph scale right there. So I'm gonna uh, jump out of here and put this video up on YouTube real quick and see if I can't find me a different station here picking up the activity in Southern California. I just don't think the Barrett station which is down um, just to the south of the region there is going to be good enough for uh, picking up activity. So I will change that up here um, during the live stream. Uh, but for now, we got the 4.4 occurring down Southern California with uh, numerous aftershocks in between two separate uh, fault systems down there. Um, within about 30 miles of the San Andreas uh, southern section down there, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it and uh, report back here if anything changes uh, with the activity there in Southern California. In the meantime, uh, enjoy a nice view of the Old Faithful Geyser looks a little smoky up there. I'm sure they're enjoying some of our smoke from Northern California as it's still crazy. I am going to upload a couple photos to the uh, Earthmaster website on Facebook. Uh, captured a couple really cool sunset pictures tonight with the smoke coming in. Uh, you have to check it out. If you haven't checked it out or checked out my page yet, go over to Facebook and type in the search bar Earthmaster and you will see my page there and uh, while you're there make sure you like it and um, like I said give me half an hour or so I'm gonna get those videos up or uh, pictures uploaded of the beautiful sunset tonight here in Northern California all right folks stay safe out there please have an earthquake plan as uh, of course uh, earthquakes can happen well anytime I mean uh, yeah it's just best to be prepared all right peace out folks